Cappies, hey Capricorn. Today we're gonna be doing a who's coming towards you in the next 72 hours reading. And then we're gonna also figure out what the fuck they want from you. <laughs> and also we're gonna be doing a yes or no question at the end of the reading. So before we get started, I just wanna thank y'all so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So tell me about this person that's coming towards Capricorn in the next 72 hours. Okay. So, who's coming towards Capricorn in the next 72 hours? Oh, shit. This is somebody that didn't even believe that y'all was supposed to be together. This is somebody that didn't believe in like soulmates and shit like that. So if they were connected to you or felt connected to you, they don't even understand why the fuck that is. Like this person was not taught about shit like that. So they don't understand what the connection is that they even had with you. This is somebody that really believed that you was not somebody that they was meant to be with. You may have been different from the average type, or you may have just been somebody that they didn't know how to handle. Oh, now this person thinks you they soulmate. We had called me and your soulmate out there. So now this person is praying for you. Now they feel like you are they soulmate and they ready to bring the situation together. Yeah, we got this could be the one at the bottom of the deck. Now this person is looking at you as some... <laughs> Past life relationship after that. We got past life relationship and and this could be the one. So now this person is realizing, now that you're not talking to this person, they realize that you're the one for them. Now they want to talk to you. They know you're not going to fuck with them no more like that or they know you're not going to sleep with them. They know you don't want to touch them. <laughs> so they are just sitting back reflecting on the relationship now because they feel like they lost out. Yeah, this person fucked up now. For some of y'all, this person felt like you protected them. They felt like when they had you in their life, they didn't have to look forward because they knew you had their back regardless. Or they knew that you would always look out for them. This person didn't have to worry about the things that was coming towards them or the things that were was coming into their life to like fuck with them because they feel like they had you for some of y'all this person they really don't know how to love or they don't know the meaning of love so it's like they're, they're just now getting it late they're just now looking into like the meaning of soulmates or they're just now trying to figure out what the fuck that even means to them oh shit Some of y'all, this person could get nervous when they're around you. Or like their heart could be hella, it can beat hella fast when y'all laying down with each other and you don't know why. Who is this person? Tell me more. Ooh. Passion. This person wants some sex. They want some sex <laughs> because they feel like the sex between the two of y'all is fire. This person likes you just as much as they want to sleep with you. Some of y'all, you get hot when you're around this person. Well, this person gets hot around you. This is somebody that wants to take a chance on a relationship. They want to take a risk. But at the same time, they don't want to break your heart. Because this person has a lot of options and they continue to make bad choices. For them to get what they need they getting what they need out of these options so they could be like using other people and they're they literally keep making the same bad decisions over and over but they want to talk to you because they feel like you don't love them no more so it's like while they're dealing with these other options they still looking back and got their eye on you because they see you losing love They don't want to break your heart. 
for some of y'all this person see a future with you or they want to marry you or possibly get in a relationship with you but they don't know how to tell you that they don't know how to tell you that they don't want to break up they feel like you're good enough for them they just didn't show you the right side of them tell me more about this person coming towards capricorn The number three could be important or the number 37. For some of y'all, this person got into a relationship with somebody else because um, for poverty, because they felt like they didn't have any money. So they married for money or they got into a relationship because somebody else was supporting them. But they're looking at you because they feel like they should be with you. For others of y'all, they want a relationship with you, but they they have financial issues going on right now. Everybody don't have to be, you know, like dealing with a third party or no shit like that. But this person could just simply be wanting to marry you or wanting marriage or something like that. But they, they finance is fucked up. This person is trying to work on becoming a better person. The number one could be important. Somebody's birthday could be in January. Well, duh. It's a Capricorn. <laughs> You're like, well, duh. Capricorn reading, but okay. Somebody's birthday could be on January 1st, on New Year's Day. Or on January 3rd. This person wants to support you. They don't want to keep you trapped in your head. They don't want to hurt your feelings. They want to be a better person to you. But this is somebody that was hella immature to you. Their birthday could be on the fifth of the month or the number five could be important. The number 19 could be important too. We got the number 19 right here. Death card, Scorpio energy. And we got um, Aries energy out here. Taurus. Another Capricorn. Or a um, Pisces. But this person was hella immature towards you and that's why you ended the relationship. This person couldn't get it together. For some of y'all, the people that they surrounded they, themselves with didn't give them much, much support either. Like if they um, hung around friends in the past, their friends didn't encourage them to make the right decision when it came to you. Somebody could have stared him or stared this person away from you, literally. I could be talking to a man, but somebody could have stared this person away from you. This person could have had people in the background talking to them to get them to go down a different pathway and leave you alone. For some of y'all, y'all family could have started looking at y'all different for the way that y'all, um, I mean, not y'all, but... This person's family could have started looking at them different, differently for the way that they handled situations or relationships. This person's family feel like they should have made a choice a long time ago and they shouldn't have chose anything based on not having any money. So this person's family, if this person was dealing with somebody else for money, this person's family is kind of like looking down on this person or, or letting them know that they were wrong for dealing with somebody for money. Instead of going after what really made them happy. The number 36 could be here. Yeah. So this person's family is feeling like they caused their own disappointments. All right, tell me more about this person. For a lot of y'all, this person did not support you. The relationship was something that felt like it was always draining you or it felt like it was never going to get on track. You could have felt like this person did not support you the way you needed to be supported. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. But you wanted this person to nurture you. You wanted this person to give you some type of comfort, some type of compassion, make you feel protected. You wanted this person to change. We got transformation, karma, faith and fears, and legacy. Some of y'all could be dealing with Scorpio. Um, but you wanted this person to change. 
you wanted this person to face their fears and grow up, figure out what it was that was holding them back or keeping them, making them same mistakes or stuck in the same loop. You wanted this person to figure out what it was that was causing them to sabotage or fuck up the relationship. For a lot of y'all, this person is receiving bad karma. Hold on, y'all. Okay, my bad Capricorn. So, yeah, you could have wanted this person to face their fears and they took so fucking long to grow up and you just like, fuck it. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. We got Gemini at the bottom of the deck. This person, this was somebody you were curious about. You wanted to know about this person. You felt like when you were around this person, you got to know them and it was a lot to this person. They had a lot of layers and you liked it. Some of y'all could be dealing with another earth sign a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Some of y'all could be, if you were dealing with an earth sign, this person is uh, mad at you. <laughs> Somebody is not, they losing their patience with you. For some of y'all, this could be two different energies coming towards you. Or it could just be one person embodying all of this or feeling this, all these emotions for you. Somebody feels like they stuck, like they feel like they stuck in a loop. They keep struggling and it's like they keep working hard, but they can't accomplish what they want to accomplish. Somebody feels like they keep falling down to the bottom and they feel like it's all because they keep trying to build relationships. They keep trying to work on relationships. This person is, is not trusting their intuition. This person worked on a lot of relationships that didn't give an equal give and take relationships that didn't balance them out spiritually emotionally mentally or physically this person was not getting what they needed from other people but they continued to work on those type of relationships relationships that felt like they was a, a fucking mountain to climb this person caused their own chaos some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius You wanted this person to be confident and stand up. For a lot of y'all, this person is confident, but they're overly confident. And that's something that really bothered you or turned you off. Okay. So, what does this person want from Capricorn? Some of y'all can really be dealing with an earth sign. So, this song is called Water and Air. It could be an earth sign or an air sign. Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius. This one to come out. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus again. This person wanted a commitment with you. They want a commitment with you. But they being sneaky as fuck. They're, being, they're lying about something. My five of swords here. This person is still working on their negative ways. It's like they still being sneaky and they see you turning your back on them. So they trying to figure out a way to come back, but they don't want to do it in a, a fucked up way or a sneaky or a lying way, deceptive way, because they feel like if they do that, they gonna lose. They feel like they are not gonna get you back. So they trying to strategic, ooh, strategically, they trying to plan or come up with some type of plan or figure out how to come towards you. This person watching you, they could be watching you on social media. Because they feel like you done fucking with them. You done living in the past. You don't want a family with them. You don't want to deal with them. They feel like you don't, you're not happy with them no more. They know you still have a lot of emotions. They just know you still care. And they mind, they feel like you still care. Or they just know you are a loving person. And they looked at you as somebody that they wanted to keep in their life forever. 
But this person is materialistic. They live above their means and all they care about is money. This person could be really greedy. All they care about is making money, getting money, grabbing money. All they care about is fucking dollar bills. Y'all know what Dollar Bill said on Players Club. What he say, if y'all don't get up there and make my money, I'm going, I'm going. That's what he said. So this person is all about money and they go towards anybody that will give them that. And if, if anybody can't give them what they want, this person is not dealing with it. So this person is in a very selfish energy right now. So the way that they talk to people is not going to be right. But they're trying to stop doing that because they know it's causing you to, to treat them differently or to treat them bad and they don't like that. So this person is, they don't want to take what they dish out. They're not happy right now. And that's why they're coming back towards you. They can't take what they dishing out. This person is dissatisfied. They bored because they feel like what they want, they can't get. It's moving too slow for them, so they pouting. This person is like, I got everything else that I want, but the one thing that I want, I can't get the shit. And I don't I don't understand why. Like, why can't I get it? So Capricorn, it kind of feels like it's still a little bit selfish. Like, it's like a sport to this person. They come back towards you and it's like they're going to do the same shit. Yeah, they're going to do the same shit. They'll reconcile with you. They'll want to be with you and they still want to be with you. But this person just can't act right. Can't get right. Okay, so we're going to get um, some advice for Capricorn, and then we're going to get your yes or no question card. What's some advice for Capricorn? What's some advice for Capricorn? If you allow yourself to trust this situation, Capricorn, you will be devouring, you will be demoting yourself. Um, don't allow nobody to play you when you already know what they're capable of and you already know what they're about. You don't have to guess what's going to happen because you already know what's going to happen. If you, if you allow yourself to be in this situation again, it's like you're going to be losing your self-love that you built. You work hard to build the self-love that you have and it's like if you give this person a chance right now while they're still in that energy that'll be you accepting defeat and allowing somebody to do things to you that you shouldn't even you know yeah you're gonna allow somebody to hurt you because they're hurt if you allow this person back in if you trust this trickster then this person is going to hurt you because they're not right with their life right now. They are out of whack. They are not aligned right now. They're still hurting right now. They're not healed. So they're not ready to be in a relationship. This person has a lot of shadow work to do. And they can't love you the way that you need to be loved right now. And that's the key to intimacy. You need that. You need somebody that's aligned with you. You need somebody where y'all on the same path or y'all on the same way. You don't need somebody that you have to carry because it'll throw you off. You need somebody that's healed to come towards you. Somebody, you don't need somebody to come towards you to um, make you happy. You need somebody to come towards you to add to your happiness. And you need somebody in your life where if they see you happy, they don't turn that happiness down. They come and add to it, like literally. So, yeah, that's the advice for you, Capricorn. So we're going to go ahead and get your yes or no question going. Do y'all got y'all question in y'all head? Or do y'all got y'all question ready? I'm going to go ahead and drink some water while, while I'm waiting on y'all to get y'all question. All right, y'all. Capricorn, give me a yes or no question. Damn, y'all impatient. You know that. <laughs> Proceed. If you was wondering if you should make a move or move away from something or just do something, period, go ahead and do it. The answer is yes. It came out too fucking fast. So I'm going to give y'all another one. Y'all bent my cards up. <laughs> so we got certainly not. So this question, the next question that you asked is a no. Then we got another yes. Thumbs up. 
So we got yes, no, yes. All right, Capricorn. Thank you so much for listening, Cappies. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.